Hey, it's me again. Hoping you arrived right in Haiti. I know it's been a few days. I'm just a little worried with this whole earthquake. I know you want to go lend a hand, but try and take care of yourself. Give me a call back when you get the chance. Alright, bye. Sweetie, sorry I haven't been able to call all right sooner. The earthquake left the island worse than previously expected. We just got the electricity back on. Anyway, I'm fine. How are you? I actually have some news. I was thinking of waiting to get back first to tell you, but seeing as the situation might take a while. Oh, I'm pregnant. I was surprised myself. I wasn't feeling too well the last few days, and it turns out that two months pregnant. I think our trip to Italy led to this surprise. I know we likely talked about one day having kids down the road, but I guess it's going to happen a little sooner than planned. What do you think? Love you. Melissa, I'm surprised at this piece of news. I believe that every woman has the right to choose. But have you considered getting an abortion? Melissa, I'm sorry we haven't had the chance to talk. I'm glad that you arrived safely. I don't know how to say this any other way, but I can't be a father. I know that isn't what you were hoping on hearing, but it's the truth.
fucked up, Mum. Dear Melissa, I'm sorry I didn't write sooner. The truth is, the news of your pregnancy was a complete shock, and at my core, I know I'm not ready to be a father. Life is strange. I was about to do something like someone I've never met, and all my life I've hated my father. I hated that he was never there. I hated that I never knew him. And I hated that he left my mum alone to do all the work. And while I was struggling to think of what to do for these past few days, I realised for the first time that he left at the exact same age I am today. Again, life can be strange. But regardless, I promise to never be anything like him. I promise to be a better person than he was. And I promise to be the best father I can be. My mum was able to make it alone. And I know that we'll make it together. I can't wait to see you. I love you, Mick.